Hey guys, I hope you are all well. In this video, I'm gonna try to show you different scenarios that helps you set up your SkyQ boxes using ethernet. Previously, one of my videos you may have seen, I connected up my Q boxes using an ethernet switch. Um, and I've had quite a lot of questions come through regarding different kind of setups. Uh, people have different various uh, um, equipment that they've used. Uh, some are not working, some are saying this. Now, the problem is there's so much different um, like devices uh, that you can buy off the market that helps you connect up or extend your Wi-Fi. And sometimes some of those may not work with this particular interface. And I'll, and I'll show you why, and I'll try to explain it to you in the most easiest way to understand. Um, so first of all, uh, easiest way to show you is I'll show you how the Sky Q boxes are normally connected via Wi-Fi. Okay. Excuse my drawings. I wasn't very good at art in school, so I'll try to keep it simple. So you've got your main Q box, right? So that's your master box rather. Okay. Then you might have mini box and let's say you might have another mini box if you have another room and normally they'll be connected over wi-fi okay and then obviously you'll have your router so for the benefit of you know keeping it simple r means router okay and that could be a sky router or a bt or virgin whoever yeah any internet provider that's how the normal setup will be. Now, I'm gonna show you how I've got my boxes connected. So you may have seen in the video previously, but let me show you again. So let's, I've got um, my router, it's a Sky router, okay? Then I've got my main box in my living room, then I've got a mini box in my son's room and then got a mini box in our bedroom. Okay, so that's how it was connected in the beginning. Now, because I've got solid concrete walls, the Wi-Fi between them, the connection rather, was terrible. Okay, so I had streaming issues. So what I did was I got myself ethernet switch okay it's a box with loads of ports in them okay and then what i did was i got ethernet cable cat5 cable and i ran an ethernet cable to each of my q boxes and the router okay so this was acting or well, this rather is acting as a main hub and everything runs through that it's a bridge and then it connects us so everything is connected together by ethernet and it forms a mesh so mesh the easiest way to explain it again i'll try to make things sound non-technical so people can understand mesh is like when all the atoms are connected they form a bond like a family okay looks a bit like that could be a square i'm just making a circle so they form a connection between them and they're happy, okay? A mesh could either be five gigahertz or two gigahertz. The difference between them, right, is just way to explain it. So five gigahertz is a stronger connection, okay? Stronger Wi-Fi connection, but other, over a shorter distance. Two gigahertz is a slightly weaker connection but it travels further, okay? So depending on your router, your router may have two different dual bands. So you probably hear dual band, dual band all the time. It will switch whatever it wants between them. So if it's easier to connect up shorter, it will switch to a five gigs. Two gigs will be longer, but obviously the weak connection will be weaker. The sky boxes, they all connect up using uh, five gigs between them five gigs between them, all right? So in terms of, uh, you know, distance wise, it may 
not reach as far but then remember it's also got two gigs built into it so it can reach to another device over a longer distance but let me just simplify this down okay it may be a lot uh, so i'll give you scenarios of different um scenarios different uh, viewers have uh, asked me questions about okay so one of them could be i've got my router okay so let's let's do the sky ones first and then we'll move on to the third party again i'm going to keep this complete unbiased so i'll give you different scenarios um so you can understand so you've got your router here which is the sky one okay you've got your main box over here and you've got your mini box over here okay now let's say you can run ethernet from your router to the main box which is okay but this mini box running an ethernet is a bit complicated too. It might be too far away. You're going to have to drill holes and whatnot, whatnot. That's absolutely fine. So this and the router and the main box can be ethernet. And this could be over Wi-Fi. That's not a problem at all. So what you're doing is helping the mini box by taking a leg of the Wi-Fi out. Yeah. So rather than it all being on Wi-Fi, you're helping the main box being directly connected and this one then is it will have an easier time connecting together okay so that's one way of doing it the other way if you wanted to do it is your main sky router here and you've got sorry, main sky router your main box here rather and you've got your mini here okay so let's say it's hard to get a cable from there to there you can connect these two up via ethernet okay that will work so remember them two is wi-fi and them two is etherneted so another question i get asked quite often is somebody will have their house excuse the drawing it looks like a rocket and that's the house okay and they've got the main queue in here what they've got is a garden and they've got a little outhouse man cave whatever you want to call it in the other side of the garden and they want to put a mini box here now, Wi-Fi most certainly will not work. Wi-Fi does not travel over open air, okay? The reason why Wi-Fi works in your house is because it bounces off the walls and, you know, goes to different devices and stuff like that. But yeah, it won't travel over your garden. So what you'll need to do is drill a hole out, take an Ethernet cable out from your main house, whichever way, run it on the side of your garden, so it could be on a fence or underground using a special waterproof trunking and then you can feed it into your mini box so that will be hardwired into your mini also remember if you had a sky router or if you've got a sky router when it's connected up like that your mini all right this will only work if you've got a sky router your mini will act as a wi-fi hotspot okay so potentially you could be giving this outhouse Wi-Fi, okay? This will only work via a Sky router. And the reason is, remember that mesh thing I was talking about? Because they're part of the same family, okay? So these will recognize each other. If you've got a third party router, for example, if there was not Sky, you can do it exactly the same way, not a problem at all, but it won't give you this Wi-Fi hotspot, okay? So yeah, you can extend your Wi-Fi this way the other question i get asked quite often i am going to emphasize on this is i have my main box okay then i've got my router then 
I've got my mini, okay? In this room, let's say it's a bedroom, whatever you want to call it, I've also got a PS4 or an Xbox. Now, what I want to do is connect up this main box by Wi-Fi. I'm going to get a, a better pen in a minute. This one's starting to run out, okay? I'm going to connect this one up to the Mini by Wi-Fi. But what I want to also do is this Mini box has got an Ethernet port. I want to connect up my PS4 or my Xbox to the Mini so that it gives it connectivity. This is a strict no-no. And the reason being is this Ethernet port does not provide internet access. What it is, is a connection for the cube boxes to connect together. All right. Many people have said, yeah, it works for me. And the reason why it will work, but it'll put a massive strain on your bandwidth or on your internet connection. So you, what you'll find is, yeah, it connects up, but then the actual internet will mess up afterwards. So your connectivity on for your mini or your streaming or your other devices will start going down, okay? So please, if you've got a mini box or a main box and you see the ethernet port, do not connect any other third party device to this ethernet port as it will put a massive strain on your bandwidth, on your internet, and also cause issues with, if you've got other mini boxes in the house, you'll see it, um, it will start going, this feature is not available and some other messages will come up. So please do not connect it up like that. Easiest way to do it, right? So if you had a scenario like that, again, take away all the lines. What I personally would do is, if you can run an ethernet cable to that room and have an ethernet switch. Remember the switch I was talking about that I put in my room? And then you can connect up your PS4, your mini, your Xbox like that. Okay, you can do it like that not a problem or what you could do is get yourself a decent extender so if, if you can't get an ethernet, ethernet cable there what you could do is get an extender up an extender x like that and then connect up your xbox and your ps4 like that okay this you probably only have to do um you know if you've got those extreme circumstances where you might have a, a loft somewhere okay um do it like that um, so this is one of the scenarios you can do. Okay, so I'm back with a better pen. So I'm trying to think of different scenarios here. Um, like I say, you've got your router always somewhere in your house, right? The thing with routers as well, what you need to remember is some of them may not have enough ports for all your devices. So let's say you've got your, uh, uh, your main box What have I done over here? Okay, and you've got your mini here You've got your mini here you've Got Xbox here PS4 here and you might have uh, a TV with that for example uh, What else can we have we can have let's say you've got your CCTV some CCTVs have network access so you can view your CCTV from uh, outside your house and whatnot. So again, this one might have only four Ethernet ports. So what we're going to do, what we can do is put that Ethernet switch in. Okay, so you can get like, you, know, you can get massive ones. You can get eight port, 16 port, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, this was 12. So from that, you can have one cable connecting into that, okay? So that's given this ethernet switch, internet connectivity from your router. Then you can have that, each cable going into different rooms. Now, yes, if you look at it, there is a lot of cables going all over the house. But if you're quite handy with, uh, you know, drilling and you might have a way of getting the cables across the house, you might actually be having some uh, works done in your house. So if you're gutting out the walls and having rewiring done, 
please put some ethernet cables in every room you know even if you're not having all this done potentially in the future it can help you if you've got wi-fi issues in my house i've got every possible device connected by ethernet so tvs consoles and whatnot everything that has an ethernet port is connected by ethernet the only thing that are wi-fi is portable devices so i've got my mobiles nintendo switch alexas and the bulbs and stuff like that oh there she goes she's listening uh, as soon as i say her name she starts uh, having this blue light around her you know always listening nosy so anyway that's that's one way of doing it so the other um, comments viewers have left is a thing called power line now the way power lines work are they are wi-fi extenders that run Wi-Fi over your electricity cables within your house, okay? So it might go to like another room that's got another extender. So it goes over electricity cables and then that gives you Wi-Fi in that particular part of the room. The problem with this is if you guys know, we may not know, your main electricity board, you know, like when something trips and it switches off, you've got these switches that control different things. So one might do lights, uh, sockets, your cooker, this and that, yeah? These are called ring mains. Now, if, for example, this particular ring main is in your living room or controlling your living room, this is your bedroom. So I'll give you my house scenario, yeah? So if I turn off my bedroom switch, all my living room stuff will stay on. So something trips in my bedroom, for example, the living room will still stay on. So if I've got my ring main here, oh, sorry, if I've got my power line here, right, in my bedroom, and I'm expecting it to provide Wi-Fi access to the living room power line, because they're on different ring mains, it won't work. They need to be on the same ring main for it to work. So if I had a house, with one ring main, okay? And that's doing bedroom, living room, kitchen. So yes, I can have a power line adapter in every room because remember, they're all on the same ring main. They're all connected together like that, okay? But if you've got different ring mains here, it won't work. Some people will say, yeah, it works, mine works fine. But when you're trying to connect all these um, sort of devices together, you're gonna have issues. Right? something's not going to work somewhere and um, you're, it's not going to work right so i'm a big not a fan of power line okay the other important thing i wanted to show you guys is um i had one comment left by a viewer so their house basically had one router okay now there were two brothers and what they did was split their house into A and B, right? So they're two different flats, but within one house, if that makes sense, right? So what they did was they got themselves each a Sky main box, okay? So let's say his name was John and his name was Bob, okay? Um, now, these two boxes, they're two different accounts, okay? Two separate customers, and they're connecting to the same router. That can't be done. The reason being is, is that that's getting connectivity from the, from the internet, okay? And that's also getting connectivity from the internet. So the problem here is that if Bob records, let's say, I don't know, EastEnders, right? that recording is also going to go to his box over here because they're using the same the same one okay the same router and also they're going to have problems so they may not get the same recordings but what will happen is is that he'll do something and then it'll appear on his one or they just mess about with each other so what they'll need to do in that scenario is they need to choose somebody has to get their own internet so john can have his own internet and Bob can have his own internet. I know it's extra money, but in this kind of scenario, two main SkyQ boxes cannot use 
the same router. Okay, also apply the same if he had a mini. All right, he might record something and it might appear on his mini. It's like, oh, I didn't record that program. How is it coming up? Because it's sharing the same planner. Okay, the same internet. So that's a no no. Again, guys, apologies if I'm going a bit fast, but if any of the scenarios matches yours, please have a closer look. Um, again, I can't draw every single scenario here. I'm just giving you snapshots of, snapshots of uh, potential different scenarios. If you have a scenario, easier thing is leave it in the comments below how you've got it set up. So just tell me where your main router is and your main boxes is, or main boxes and your minis are, and what you're trying to do, and then maybe I can help you on that. If failing, you know, anything else, please give Sky a call and they may be able to help you with that because there could be an issue with your actual broadband. So again, there's not any kind of set limitations of what your broadband speed should be. But if you've got, I don't know, like one meg broadband download, then um, yeah, you might have a bit of problem downloading stuff. They will still connect up. But in terms of downloading a program, let's say you're trying to download Game of Thrones, on one meg it may take you I don't know a couple of hours or something like that as opposed to a couple of seconds right so some of you may have other devices uh, that you've brought off the internet um, you've brought a router that could be like a third party router it might have like some funky aerials and it looks like something that dropped out of uh, of the sky like an alien device um, sometimes my honest opinion is stick to the routers that the main companies give you, like your broadband suppliers. So if you've got Sky or you've got BT um, or Virgin, just try to stick to their routers. Um, and then you can buy yourself a switch and do other things accordingly. Move it around, you move the cables around. When you buy these fancy routers, you'll spend two, 300 pounds on them. And then you're gonna have connectivity problems. Um, there's other companies like Draytech and stuff. They work well, but there are some different devices within their company that might give uh, problems with their connection. Now, the other thing I was gonna say to you guys is some of you will say, yeah, well, with this particular router or the setup, my iPad or my phone, sorry, very bad spelling, my phone connects up fine. So yes, it will connect up giving you internet access, but when it comes to mesh device or mesh system, it works differently, right? It's different than your normal internet connection. I've got like five bars or I've got whatnot. It's different. It doesn't work like that. All right. Easiest way to explain it. Keep it simple. So as I was saying, if you do have um, connectivity problems or anything like that, uh, first give Sky a call and see if they can help you. Uh, majority of the time they can do a network scan remotely and see what's going on. They can see two to three weeks back if you've had issues. So if it was working, they can see where the drops happened, how many drops have happened. Uh, they could reset a couple of things as well and uh, hopefully get the issue rectified. This is just merely uh, just a small advice I can give you guys. If you're working with ethernet switches or if you're trying to do something different, um, do definitely give me a shout on the comments uh, below and uh, let me know uh, if something's worked for you or uh, you know, if you've done something differently, you know, again, every house is completely different. Every system, every connection is completely different. So yeah, let us know in the comments below if something's worked differently for you. And hopefully this uh, has eliminated some of the problems you have. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe uh, for other videos as well. I know my channel has quite a lot of different videos, but if one of the videos can help you in your way of life, or it helps you in terms of getting your technical stuff sorted in your house, then definitely um, please do like and subscribe. Take care guys, all the best.